It's straight jacket day here at Mucus Asylum Stadium here in Luniapolis, Craziana, home of the Insane Colts. The first 1,000 fans will receive a free straight jacket in a 500 volt lobotomy. Am I crazy? Or did I just see Fan throw himself off the upper deck in a garbage can with an M80 in his mouth? No, that's their mascot, Crazy Jimmy. <laughs> Quite the entertainer, isn't he? Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The New London Patriots take on the Insane Colts. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on his shoulder, Bricks Jr. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. This guy's still bad. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. And that'll give him four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Boom! Second down and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a Third down and eight. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap. It. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. And he recovers the fumble and runs it back for a defensive score. That's a backbreaker for the offense. just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get Brick's mom on the phone quick I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago
tripod jet. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Second down and seven. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And that'll bring up third down and seven. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's a pick. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Target more often. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his wrist. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down in a mile. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here.
Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And he was stuck to him like glue. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. He's got the ball now. Look, oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he pulled out a chain for the and twice an indictment for the defense. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Yeah. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions than completions. He broke free and has open field. And, uh oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, man. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he's off to the races. He's in there catching up. Joke, job, go south bed. He's at the 20. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Sandwiches. I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, still, we're gonna. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. 
The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Ben? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass on a... Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he... the ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And then's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the... Uh... And it's first and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the time. Ouch! What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And he's running like a moose right now. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey skin wrapped on his backside from that bad brown he had last year. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. It's a touchdown! He could probably be a better dancer if he went to dance class, but as you can see, he uh, doesn't have the stomach for it.
You don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Third down and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. In your back, <laughs> And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a... That's a six-yard gain on that catch. And that'll be second down and four. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And that'll be second down and four. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Third down and a pussy here. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And that'll be their final timeout. Finds his man for 
the first down. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third and four. And they'll line up for the punt here. And it's a fake punt. The offense taking a huge risk here. 
Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the ten. He did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. That pass play nets them seven yards. Say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. You gotta stop him. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, man, he just 
laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you get there's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> the offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. They, they spend two years in the league and then they become bouncers at biker bars. First down and forever. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. It's a sab attack. It's like when you... And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Nice time warp dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Ah, uh, did they? Didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind? Or did that play that I saw just not happen? Uh, I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. And that'll bring up second and one. more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. First and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down and a lot.
Third down and never gonna happen. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a... The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. The offense lost another receiver on that play, and only two remain on the roster. When a team loses all the receivers, they have to forfeit. Third down in the offense, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Third down and forever. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snags. He got hit by a car and died. Why did I just tell that story? Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, you all been out on me. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. Ah, that's a good point, Grim. The offense is out of receivers. And it's a good thing their defense is on the field or they'd have to forfeit. Yeah, lucky schmucks. I used to carry a rabbit's foot for good luck. Then a monkey's paw. Now it's uh, an orange towel. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. Oh, nice hit. With no one left on their roster, the insane Colts take a brutal loss by forfeit. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrophism. <laughs> Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.